Andrew Lamming is usually a highly visible figure in his electorate east of Brisbane. But today there was no sign of him as the controversy that will cut his political career short continues to grow. And I really think it is time the Prime Minister called this out, but it can't be just I'm listening. It really needs to be action. This issue has broken up marriages, caused fights in public. The Maverick MP, who calls himself Lamo, was first elected in 2004 and has been a prolific and controversial social media user. Well, let's see how we go. We're walking into a house, we don't know anyone, but we have had a Facebook invitation. Let's see where it goes. Two women went public last week, alleging in interviews with Channel 9 that he had engaged in aggressive online behaviour, including claiming that the founder of a charity for the homeless had misappropriated funds. I don't want to be attacked anymore. Teacher Sheena Hewlett went public, claiming the Bowman MP called her workplace to ask about her working hours. He also allegedly took a photograph of her without her knowledge that was uploaded to Facebook. We saw Andrew Lamming and he had his phone in his hand ready to take a photo. I pointed at him so he immediately put his phone away and took off but what I didn't realise is he'd already taken a photo of us. Well, I felt like it invaded my privacy, it made me feel uncomfortable and nervous. I want to unreservedly apologise to both Ms Hewlett and Russo and I express my regret and deep apologies for the hurt and the distress that that communication may have caused. Sheena Hewlett is a former LNP member and her husband is a local councillor. She now questions whether Andrew Lamming was genuine in Parliament last week after he sent a social media message saying he didn't know what he was apologising for. I, I do question whether it was sincere or not and like everybody else I'm sure has seen the screenshots of the of the message which he's now admitted that he did send except for the emojis that he said were pocket dials. An even more serious allegation emerged at the weekend, one that could constitute a criminal offence. In my job, uh, if I was to take a candid shot of my employee or a customer um, and there was evidence of it, I wouldn't have a job anymore. Uh, so this is where Andrew is standing and this is the angle of the photo that was taken. Sean Blinko and his former co-worker Crystal White claim in That's 2019 Andrew Lamming took a photo of Crystal at a landscaping supplies business while she was bending over to fill up a fridge. Our store manager was the person who caught him. Um, he saw the phone directed at Crystal while she was bending over, or bending over to fill up a drinks fridge. And uh, Cameron then asked uh, Andrew Lamming uh, to have a look at his phone and saw it still on there and asked Andrew Lamming to delete the photo. The photo showed Crystal bending over and her underwear exposed over the top of her shorts that she was wearing. I intend to get that help ASAP. This new allegation led to Andrew Lamming apologising again yesterday and announcing he will leave politics at the next election. In the meantime, he's taking medical leave to undergo empathy training. These are very good examples of where I haven't had the, uh, the depth of insight to understand how my actions affect others. Sean Blinko says after work today, he plans to report the incident to Queensland Police. Uh, the police need to be made aware of this situation. Today, Andrew Lamming went on radio to push back, saying he was asking legitimate questions about the conduct of the women involved, and he's disputing the nature of the photograph he took of Crystal White. The photograph was of her in a completely dignified position, in no way compromised, doing a very hard job well, um, in full view of every customer. The LNP today confirmed it is sticking by Andrew Lamming despite a history of complaints going back well before the last election. 7.30 has obtained a letter by Scott Morrison strongly backing Andrew Lamming as the LNP's best candidate when he was facing a pre-selection battle prior to the 2019 election. 
The letter says, I do not hesitate to endorse Andrew Lamming as the best choice to keep Bowman safely in LNP hands. Isn't the reality that you can't afford to lose Andrew Lamming because he's a number and if you lose his number, you lose control of the House of Reps. He's not putting himself forward for re-election within the Liberal Party. He is committed to undertake the behavioural change he needs to undertake. He was elected to serve here for three years um, in this parliamentary term and that's what he intends to do. Andrew Lamming is planning to return to Parliament before the budget and remain in the LNP. We now need people to be kicked out. We need people to be asked to resign. They should not still be sitting in the parliament if they are not fit and proper people of good character. Well, personally, I believe he should res resign today. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.